Hey guys, we're gonna try and trade on BitMEX today off go charting charts. We've recently integrated with BitMEX.com. So the process is pretty simple. Here in the App Store, you gotta choose BitMEX. Step one, connect to BitMEX.com using your API key and secret. And second, start trading. So I'm gonna try and quickly put my API key and secret in here. Check the terms and conditions and connect. Once I've connected, you should be able to see all your limit orders, all your trades, all your positions, everything on the chart itself. So here, for example, I can see that I have a limit order of one BTC USD XBT at uh, 9,800, it's a buy limit, and I've just executed a trade, and so I have a position here open on the chart. I can see my historical trades in here. I could go to the trading journal for more details, and I could check all my orders, all my positions, all my balances, all of it, right? Everything that you see in bitmix.com is available in here. So, all right, so there are a couple of ways you could do it trading one uh, the, the very basic one is uh, an order panel so this is your trading order panel bitmix gives you the ability to uh, place a limit market stop and stop limit along with a various of the configurations if you are if you have already traded in bitmix you should be familiar with each one of them and, and it's pretty self-explanatory so that's one Second is you could use what I call as the one-click trade. So if you're interested in quickly making a few market orders, you should probably try this by clicking each of the buttons, buy and sell, and place uh, and kind of setting your size should get you started. All right. So there are a few other things that I wanted to mention. Uh, one, in each of these parameters, when you see a set as a default, right, you could actually click them. And for example, in the quantity, for example, it says one, I could literally click on uh, this and it would set one as my default quantity for every subsequent trade I make, right? So that's what, uh, that's my configuration. Why I do it? Because uh, GoCharting gives you the ability to kind of trade using your keyboard and uh, using the right click panel. So you can see the default size has changed. And from here on every trade I make, uh, it is the algorithm is gonna assume that it's going to be a trade of size one XPT USD, okay? Uh, the other ways you can do it is by just right clicking uh, at any point on the chart. So depending on your position on the chart, the algo kind of figures out whether it should be a buy or the sell, depending on whether it's below or above the LTP and gives you the options like buy limit, buy market, sell stop, and you can choose any one of them. The other way is you could use the shortcut shift plus double key will automatically place a limit order. Control and double key will, will place a market order and alt and double key will place a sell stop or, or sorry, a stop order. So that's pretty much uh, everything that uh, you can do very quickly. It's a very simple interface and let gets you started trading very, uh, on a quick note. You could place your orders. You could uh, also modify your orders directly from the chart. You could close your positions. So all of that is possible with GoCharting right now. Thank you for viewing.